Okay, you guys know I do quite a lot of advocating on gun violence prevention, and I've talked many times here about trying to pass the assault weapons ban, which is not co-sponsored by a single Republican, but also has a certain number of Democratic holdouts. One of those holdouts is this gentleman. This is Jared Golden of Maine. He has refused to sponsor the assault weapons ban, and in fact, he has voted against it uh, every time it has been brought to the floor. Obviously, something horrific and tragic happened in his hometown, in his district, last night. And then, lo and behold, this came out. Out of fear of this dangerous world that we live in, in my determination to protect my own daughter and wife in our home and in our community, because of a false confidence that our community was above this, and that we could be in full control, among many other misjudgments, I have opposed efforts to ban deadly weapons of war, like the assault rifle used to carry out this crime. The time has now come for me to take responsibility for this failure, which is why I now call on the United States Congress to ban assault rifles like the one used by the sick perpetrator of this mass killing in my hometown of Lewis and Maine. He then goes on to apologize to his constituents for refusing until this time to co-sponsor this bill. To the people of Lewiston, my constituents throughout the 2nd District, to the families who lost loved ones, and to those who have been harmed, I ask for forgiveness and support as I seek to put an end to these terrible shootings. And you guys, don't get me wrong, I am very happy that he has come to this decision, but we still have several Democratic holdouts and every Republican in the House and the Senate is refusing to co-sponsor this bill. Call them and ask them, does someone need to die in your community? Will you only care when your wife and daughter are in danger? It shouldn't take this.